At the TD Garden with tonight's top story. And Josh, I've read some of these tweets and it really is disgusting. Christy, let's face it, this has taken all the intention, attention off what was an incredible series. The emphasis should be on that every game was decided by just one goal, but instead the focus is on just one hurtful racist word. It was an awful disappointment. They had a good season, and there's always next year. Among the disappointings, and we'll get them next year's after the Bruins' Game 7 loss to the Capitals at the Garden, came a slew of hateful vitriol hurtling through the Twitter sphere. Forty racist rants, all containing the N-word, targeting the newly minted Capitals hero who scored the game-winning overtime goal, Joel Ward, who happens to be black. The tweets were grabbed and posted on a website called Chirp Story. They've gone viral, with others outing the posters' names, phone numbers, and addresses. That led us to a Boston-area home, where the tweeter Tom Troy 12 wrote, The fact that a N-word scored the winner goal makes this loss hurt a lot more. The young man did not come to the door. A woman answered instead. No, he's not 18. He's a minor. He's a minor. He's a minor, correct. So there's nothing to say about the racist he's comments, racist. he said? He's, he's not, not racist. Does right. he want to so apologize he, to it, he though? He has apologized via the web. He has. He has apologized he has, to the web? He's a minor. He's apologized. Okay, thank you. Many of the tweeters are not local or even Bruins fans, but several are. And that has lifelong Bruins fan Greg Ezel, who wrote a column for his blog, Days of Yore, upset how this has stained the fan base. A group of people just wanted to find an opportunity to spew some hatred, and I think it painted Boston's uh, fans as, you know, I think it gave them a bad light, and it shouldn't have. There's another aspect to all of this, the anonymity posters may think they are hiding behind, which social media expert Mike Schneider says often becomes public. They're not thinking. That's the, that's the, the problem. They, they don't realize how public this resource is. They, they feel like, you know, I've got my friends and my followers, and they don't realize that people are doing searches every day. One example of how it can get you in trouble, tweeter Andrew Dulock 6, who goes to Cumberland High School in Rhode Island, used the N-word and the F-word in his tweet. His school has since issued a statement saying, the comments are deeply troubling and not part of what we teach and adhere to in Cumberland Public Schools. We have been in contact with the family and are taking all steps to address this matter. And Christy, back live now, you can see the garden and you can see the Bruins banner still on there. Christy, to be clear here, these are 40 tweets out of thousands that were written about the outcome of the game, but clearly 40 tweets too many. Christy? Yes, 40 very disturbing tweets. Josh Bogadier reporting live for us. Thank you.